In this session, we are going to talk about mediation, the conceptualization, interpretation, and reporting of mediation. Now, what is mediating variable? A mediator variable is the variable that causes mediation in the dependent and the independent variables. In other words, it explains the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. The variable that explains the mechanism of impact of independent variable on dependent variable is referred to as a mediator. When we say that the impact of IV on DV is not direct and it is through another variable or variables, that third variable or variables is or are the mediator or mediators. Simply put, the IV affect the MV, the mediating variable, and that leads to the dependent variable. What we are in simple terms saying is that IV does not affect the DV directly, but it is actually the IV affecting the mediating variable and that in turn affect or affects the dependent variable. So it's a causal chain of relationship where the independent variable IV affects the mediating variable MV and that in turns affect the dependent variable. Now, what is mediation? The form of interrelationship between IV, MV and DV is referred to as mediation. Mediation involves a set of causal hypotheses. Initial, an, an initial variable may influence an outcome variable through a mediating variable. Mediation is also referred to as causal chain in which one variable affects a second variable and that in turn affects the third variable. The first variable is referred to as independent, the second as mediator and the third variable is referred to as the dependent variable. A variable may be considered a mediator to the extent to which it carries the influence of a given independent variable to a given dependent variable. Now, generally speaking, mediation can set to occur when the IV significantly affects the mediator. The IV significantly affects the DV in absence of the mediator. The mediator has a significant unique effect on the DV. The effect of IV on the DV shrinks upon the addition of the mediator to the model. So the effect of IV on DV in absence of mediator is higher but when the mediator comes into the equation or comes into the model the impact of IV on DV shrinks because now the impact of IV on DV is passing through another variable which is the mediator. Mediation occurs if the effect of independent variable on dependent variable is partly or entirely transmitted by the mediator. The independent variable may have direct effect on the dependent variable that is not transmitted through the mediator. So there could be an effect that is passing through the mediator and there could be some effect passing directly from the IV to D. Now if we see this slide there are two diagrams. This is the impact of IV on DV without any mediator or without any third variable. So we can refer to this as the total effect when IV starts to impact or when IV impacts the DV. So the effect is the total effect. A mediation hypothesis can be represented by a diagram of causal model. Two frameworks have been identified here. This is one and here is the second one. The first framework shows a direct effect or direct path model depicting the total effect of IV on DV where C represents the path when mediating variable is not included in the model. So C is the total effect of IV on DV. The second diagram here where we have the mediating variable. The second diagram depicts the relationship and paths when mediating variable is included into the study. A points to the path from IV to the mediator B. So sorry, uh, IV to the mediator. So A, this path here is the effect of IV on the mediating variable. And this path here B represents the effect of mediating variable on the dependent variable. Now the C or C complement path 
this actually represents the direct effect now that there is mediator in this equation the effect of iv on dv is referred to as the direct effect whereas in this case it was the total effect because there was no other variable through which the impact would have passed so here the c is the total effect and here c complement is the direct effect and the impact of iv on dv through the mediating variable is the indirect effect now we need all these three things in order to interpret our mediation analysis and report it now the total effect is the impact of iv on dv without the involvement of the mediator which is c the indirect effect is the impact of iv on dv through the mediating variable so a into b is your indirect effect and if this effect is significant we can say that there is mediation the direct effect the impact of iv on dv in presence of the mediator that is c complement now there are different forms of mediation complete mediation this form of mediation exists if the predictor iv exerts its full influence on the dependent variable through the mediating variable the second is partial mediation this form of mediation exists if the predictor variable which is our iv exerts some in of its influence via the mediator so some of the impact of iv on the dependent variable is passing through the mediator however there is also influence exerted from iv to dv that is your path c is also significant that is the direct effect is also significant so when the indirect effect and the direct effect both are significant we say that it's partial mediation when the direct effects is insignificant and the indirect effect is significant we say complete mediation but when there is no indirect effect or the path a into b is insignificant we say there is no mediation this is the mediation model that we are interested in testing now corporate social responsibility is our independent variable service quality is our mediating variable and customer loyalty is our dependent variable so our c is the total impact of csr on customer loyalty our a is csr on service quality our b is service quality on customer loyalty and our c complement is impact of csr on cl in presence of service quality now how do you run this in jamovi so i've got this data service quality csr and cl the composite scores to run mediation you go to metmod and click this simple mediation so now it's asking us for the variable so which one is our dependent variable it's customer loyalty which one is our mediator it's service quality and csr is our predictor now what estimation method you want to use now we are going to use bootstrap so because we don't assume normality so if you think your data is normally distributed you go for standard but in this case let's go for bootstrap we are going to do 1000 because normally it's recommended to do 5000 but for the sake of this video and save time we are going to do 1000 samples use labels confidence interval 95 let's do percent mediation as well and let's get our path estimates as well it might take some time to give you the results so just wait now here are our results now if we look it gives mediation estimates the indirect effect a into b the estimate is 0.215 standard error 95 percent confidence interval the z score a t score you can call it p value and the percentage of mediation so how much effect is passing through the mediator the direct effect in presence of the mediator it's still very significant like most of the effect is still direct now what's the total effect csr on customer loyalty without the inclusion of the mediator see this is the estimate standard error 95 percent confidence interval so this all these three are significant obviously the p-value is telling us 
So it, there's no zero in between the lower and upper value. So it's significant, the T values. Now these are the path estimates, A, B, and C. CSR to service quality, service quality to customer loyalty, and this is actually C complement, the direct effect. Now how do you report these results? So let's copy this and bring it here. So let's move on to the next page and paste our results here. So this is the template we are going to use for mediation results. Let's clear this space a bit. Mediation analysis was performed to assess the mediating role of, in this case, service quality on the linkage between CSR, which is our independent, and customer loyalty, which is our dependent. The results are given at the number table 1 reveal that the total effect of CSR on customer loyalty. So the total effect, where is our total effect? Here is our total effect. The estimate is 0.834. T value is 20.72 and the P value is less than 0 0.001 less than 0 0.001 this is our first step now with the inclusion of the mediating variable which is service quality the impact of so this is now where you put in your direct effect, the impact of CSR on service quality was actually still significant. So we are going to remove the unnecessary bits. So direct effect 0.619. Although it is lowered, previously it was 0.834, but now it's 0.619, but it is still significant. The T value is 7.74. 7 the P value is still less than 0 0.01. 0 0.001, sorry. Now look at the indirect effect of CSR on customer loyalty passing through service quality was found significant so your indirect effect the estimate is 0.215 the t value is 3.05 and p value is 0.002 so 25% of the effect of CSR on loyalty is actually passing through the mediator. This shows the relationship between CSR and customer loyalty is actually partially mediated because the direct effect is still significant mediated by service quality. Now we have to put all these value in here in the table. So the total effect is 0 0.834, 0 0.834, the p-value is 0 0.000 because it is less than 0 0.001, the direct effect, C, 0 0.619, p-value is 0 0.000, and your mediation from CSR to service quality to customer loyalty, the coefficient is 0 0.215 the standard deviation or standard error is 0 0.0706 the t value is 3.05 p value is 0 0.002 and your 95 percent confidence interval is 0.1122 to 
there is no zero in between which means that the indirect effect is significant we do not need these any longer so just remove these now this is how you can report your mediation results from Jomovi or maybe any other software